So is the Jamel Charlo rumors and Jamal Charlo rumors gonna go away any day? Because I keep hearing about the Demetrius Andre rumor that was started by a guy who didn't went around against Canelo, who's talking about people are ducking him. Didn't went around against Canelo, been asking for the fight for six, seven, eight, however long, probably since he was a kid. But he didn't went around, but we still got grown men, 40 years old and up, talking about who grew up on 90s Mike Tyson boxing and think they know about boxing now, about how Jamel Charlo and Jamal Charlo was being ducked by Andre. Andre's not going to make it to the ring. He don't want to pick the fight. He might not make it to the ring against Benavidez. We have to see. Bro, y'all still repeating what Jamel Charlo said? Man, if you're a grown man, you still running around talking about what Jamel Charlo said about Demetrius Andre after the performance he did? <sighs> Something's got to be wrong with you. Got to be. Like, the fanboyism is getting out of hand. Like, you're repeating what Jamel Charlo said after what he just did? I got 20 video before he fought Canelo talking about how he would... If it don't work out, you know, I'll just go back to this and this. His real side came out. Man, look, don't be coming over to my channel. You better go to some all them other dudes who been posting Jamel Charlo down for three years talking about Andre don't want to fight him. Y'all, in, in your mind, you think that Jamel Charlo is a scarier fighter than Benavidez. In your mind. In your mind. And I, be, and I know where your money went two weeks ago. Right in the trash. Or you ain't putting no money up. Most of these guys will be talking like that. They don't put no money up. Talking about um, uh, Andre running from somebody. He finna fight Benavidez. Man, I know where your money been going. Straight in the trash. If you been thinking like that. People are mad. You trying to take your anger out. Probably because you have been losing fights lately. Betting on your favorite tough guys. With the uh, tattoos and everything. Oh, that mentality, like, that's corny to me, man. That's very corny to me. Like, this, you got guys who got grandkids and kids and stuff running around trying to get the hood mentality boxer and think that he's, somebody's ducking him. Come on, man. Like, let's get out of here. Let's be real. I'm going to be real today. Who's ducking Jamel Charlo after the performance he just put on? And I'm the, I'm the, the loser who was sitting up here saying, oh, no, he ain't ducking Tim Zoo. He ain't worried about it. Man, he's for sure ducking Tim Zoo. Whoever was saying that, y'all was right. I was wrong about that. That's probably the only thing I defended Jamel Charlo about lately. Uh, that Tim Zoo stuff, I was like, nah, he ain't trying to. He ain't ducking Tim Zoo. He got an injury. He got an injury, which he did have an injury. But, man, come on, man. Tim Zoo is definitely a threat to him. Y'all ain't saying Tim Zoo ducking Jamel, uh, uh, Jamel Charlo, but Andre ducking him? Let's make that make sense now. Okay, so Jamel Charlo, he ducking Tim Zoo, but he ain't ducking Andre. He just went and got a Canelo payday. He did nothing. Did nothing he promised he was going to do. He didn't put his life on the line at all. Canelo said he didn't fight back at all. And you got guys jumping in the comments talking about if Andre make it to the ring, at least he signed a dotted line. Jamal Charlo was supposed to fight Benavidez three years ago. I think Benavidez was 23 years old or something like that. We got guys out here ducking 23 and 24-year-olds. Charlo didn't want to fight a 23, 24-year-old. But we're going to sit here and say we hope Andre makes it to the ring. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We don't say that about Golovkin, who then lost almost all his fights to uh, Canelo. And that's his biggest win. His biggest win is a loss. I'm going to do a video on that. Guys whose biggest wins are losses. Like, I say stay, I stay straight facts on here. I ain't got no time to be. I really do this in real life. I really rub shoulders with trainers, boxers, all that stuff years ago. And I'm still young. Like, y'all don't know who y'all be talking to on the internet, man. Like, y'all really be making up some rumors. and Bro, if you like another man, that's on you. That's cool. If you like another guy, that's legal now. But like I said, I don't do all that, man. I, I just keep it straight facts. 
You guys supported Charlo all these years over Andre, and he put on that performance, and you still running around in my comments talking about, I hope he show up because he didn't pick a Charlo fight? Who is Charlo to duck? Who is Who on res, Charlo resume is anybody running from? Castano? I don't even know if Castano's fought lately. If he did fight, none of y'all seen that fight. And the only reason you seen the Tony Harrison fight is because uh, he fought Tim Zoo. The fight before that, none of y'all reported that fight. So I already know who I'm talking to out here. I already know who I'm talking to. Come on now. Oh, yeah, y'all the same fans that said, oh, uh, Eastside Cruz, he a bum. I don't know why Tank will fight him. He's he a, he a late replacement. He should have just got somebody else, like Gary Russell or somebody. I don't know why he would pick a guy we don't know. And look at Eastside Cruz, still around. Man, I don't listen to y'all. I don't. I don't do that. And most of the guys that say Jamel Charlo was getting ducked by Andre was saying that Eastside Cruz wasn't that good of a fighter before Javante Davis fought him. Mmm. I'm listening to y'all. Come on, man. Get out of here. That mentality is getting old. It's killing boxing. A lot of y'all guys who sitting up here running around acting like Janabek fighting two guys with no belt is an accomplishment. Come on. And he got he has two belts now? Where did the belt come from? So he just bought for what? Two sanction belts? Or two uh belts that were given up? Forgot the words right now. I'm not even trying to figure it out. So he just got two belts that was uh that was given up. Come on, man. Really? And we're saying that's an accomplishment. The fans out here is weird. Y'all don't really know f fighting like that. I done been around. Y'all don't really fight. Y'all don't know that stuff like that. I remember seven, eight years ago when you said something about Crawford on the internet. People were laughing at you. Now y'all want him to fight heavyweights. Come on, man. That mentality is getting old. Like The whole hood mentality. Quit bringing the hood mentality to boxing. Most of the dudes that y'all think like that ain't really like that. Yeah, Mike Tyson, he this, this, and that, but he get around them other folks, he be acting nice, don't he? All that crazy man stuff go out the window when he around them. So, yeah, I've been around long enough to where I know what a man really is. All that tough guy stuff go away. Bring up bring up somebody, how, how somebody father ain't around in the hood and see how mad somebody start getting to crying. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Let's be real. Like, that mentality is getting so old. Change all that stuff. Take that out of boxing. For real. That's getting so old. That's all I got.